Fine! Fine! Ha 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 ha! Come on, boo! But now, when I turn to see, there's a perfect shadow cast of me. Six more weeks of winter there will be. Well, on that note, since there's six more weeks of winter, you guys won't mind watching a video I shot in December going to the Festival of the Holidays at Epcot. Uh, also, we have something big to talk about. A Disney guest implanted a magic band underneath their skin. Yeah, that's a thing, apparently. So, first off, let's go to Epcot. In front of a maze, 38. We have a makeup brush down. Well, my friends, it is the holidays at everybody's favorite construction site, Epcot. We got a little chip and a little Dale greeting everyone. At the front, yes, you can still pick up your passport with all the food and goodies. Time to enter into everybody's favorite maze. Is it me or when I see these little light fixtures, all I see is little Apple AirPods? Well, it looks like they've made a little bit of progress. I definitely know who's in charge of all the construction here. But that is some very adorable artwork that they made of the Fab Five. And like always, they have this giant Christmas tree that'll be lit up during the nighttime. Now the first stop of the day is the little Mexico cart because they have churros. And they have Dolce de Leche churros. Let's try it. It's too sweet. It's a lot fresher than a park churro, but I think it's too sweet. It's decent. Seven out of ten. It's like a, the average. Yeah, the Dolce de Leche filling with the cinnamon, the sugar is just a lot of sweetness. It was good. You definitely need like something to drink with it. The Shanghai Holiday Kitchen is going to be getting the house-made crab and cheese wonton. Here are the wontons. Ooh, that pull apart. Mmm, that cheesy crabby goodness inside. It's not cold. I really thought it was gonna be cold. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's the best wonton. If you're in the mood for wontons and you're at Epcot, I would go with this because I think it's your only option. But uh, our next stop of the day is gonna be Bavaria, and I'm gonna get the Postman Pure Heart Apple Cider. All right, now here's the cider. They didn't know how to say it, so we're gonna go with a uh, Postman. Postman. It doesn't taste like an apple, it tastes almost like a pear. Pear cider, not dry, not super sweet. It's kind of, feels like a watered down cider. I wouldn't get this again, no. And then here in Germany, they've put up some Christmas decorations, just some garland everywhere. We wanted to come into the Christmas store to see the notorious pickle tree, truly the most disgusting tree in the world. Okay, this pretzel kind of looks like the bottom of your foot after you get out of a pool. Let me, let me show you. This is me trying to cut into it. <laughs> Come on, little guy. That's really bad. Let's try it with the ice cream. Maybe that might make it better. You need the ice cream to cover up how like stale it is. All right, while I'm trying to eat that, there's a parade coming through right now. All right, my friends, I'm uh, calling it quit. The ice cream was the only thing actually edible. The pretzel was just so stale and so old. Two out of 10, very bad. All right, we were over here in America. We're gonna get something at the American holiday table and the crinkle cookie I've had before, and it is very good. Ah, uh, there it is, the crinkle cookie. All right, let's see if this little guy is as good as last year. I like it because it tastes like the, kind of the burnt part on the edges of a, of a brownie. The last year's was better. All right, the cookie, I'm gonna give it a 6.5 out of 10. Good, but not as good as last year's. Okay, we're about to see something I haven't seen in a very long time, Voices of Liberty. They brought them back for the holidays. I hope they keep them around, but again, how they're treated entertainment, we don't know. Hello, everyone. We are the Voices of Liberty. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. Oh, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. Alright, 
So we just finished Voices of Liberty. It was great seeing them back. It's a very different experience because they used to perform inside the lobby of the American Adventure and it was the acoustics in there where it would, it would just take your breath away when they would sing. And it was so intimate and such a memorable experience. It's great watching on the stage, but it's also very different. I think I enjoy seeing them perform in the lobby, but it's good to see them back. I hope they stay around. We can only cross our fingers. Who knows what Disney will do. Okay, we're at Lahayam, and Jamil is gonna be getting a pastrami and rye. Jamil switched it up. He looked at him, he said, no, I want that instead. What is this? Is this the latka? This is a salmon with latka. That might be one of the best looking dishes Smoked salmon potato lock. You gotta take a big ounce and womp out of it. Mm. Mm. Oh, delicious, man. I can taste the chives in there. This is a solid seven and a half, eight. Ooh. Yeah, this is good stuff. Okay, we're going to the France pastry or quick service. This is where a new special treat's supposed to be. Las, Las Halles. All right, and then here's what Alice and I are gonna get. All right, the Bio State Noel chocolate Christmas log with three chocolate creams and a chocolate crunch biscuit. Oh, it's so soft. That chocolate log. Amazing, 9.5 chocolate, everything. It looks like they have removed the Remy topiary. Look at that sunset. Over in Canada, they've moved the jammeters over here. Oh, yeah. What? Hey everybody, how much did Santa have to pay for his sleigh? I don't know. How much? Absolutely nothing. That thing was on the house. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> What is a cow's favorite holiday? I don't know. No. What? what? <laughs> New Year's Day! The Jammeter show was so good. I love that corny cheesiness. I prefer them over the beat builders at Universal. I'm so glad they kept them. They have been around forever and they bring so much joy and happiness. There's so many kids just dancing and freaking out. The Jammeters walked so Zac Efron could run in the kitchen in High School Musical 2. Now we're going into the Fessel Center. Okay. It's the Christmas tree set up and there's Chip and Dale flying around. Who's playing the piano right now? Really great jazz piano. She's a local celebrity of sorts. Um, the wonderful, legendary Carol Stein on the keys tonight. Jamil's over there fangirl in front of Carol. She was really good. I'm so glad their live performers were brought back and just create that atmosphere and the memories. So we're at the Holiday Heart. Uh, there are so many good options. It all looks very good. Uh, Allison's gonna get the red velvet mini bunt cake. All right, here's a little red velvet bunt cake. I think it's like cream cheese in the center. Hmm. It's good at first, but it has a weird aftertaste. Candy cane cocoa, and isn't there like schnapps in here or something? Peppermint schnapps. Peppermint schnapps. Oh. 
Yeah. That's good. That, I'm gonna give eight out of 10. That was good. I'm that, I'm gonna give 5.5. And then I'm gonna get the peppermint bark. And then my peppermint bark, little festive bag. Oh, the peppermint smell. Six out of 10, I wouldn't get it again. Now, most of the gingerbread houses, they didn't make this year for Disney, but they did make one. Now, being from DC, this is kind of, makes you feel a little bit at home. Oh, that's the... Uh, so you're gonna have the Capitol right there for a second. I thought this was a floating UFO. There's so many little hidden Mickeys everywhere. You could probably spend an hour finding them all. And then there's Pluto with a couple snowmen. The Martin Luther King Memorial right there. And then the pebbles it says, when dreams come true. Then for the Lincoln Memorial, they have a bunch of little twinkling lights. It says happy holidays and all these little plastic characters are the same characters they hand out to us at Traditions. That's really nice. I really enjoyed seeing an actual gingerbread house at Disney this year. It kind of made it feel like things were a little normal. Uh, we're going to Mela Maliki Maka. I'm going to get the uh, Kalua pork, purple sweet potatoes, and a mango salad. Hi, right, my friends. Here's a shot of the pork and yes. The potatoes are purple down there. Okay, it's getting a little chilly, man. Let's get a little bit of the pork, the purple sweet potatoes. It's one of the best things I've had all day. Okay, I just finished it. I'm gonna order a second one. Nine out of 10. That's why I'm ordering a second one right now. Here we go for round two. If you're coming to visit Epcot during December, go get that. Amazing. We are now gonna be riding the holiday overlay of living with the land. As John Hammond says, they've spared no expense on the holiday overlay for Figment. Great idea! We'll go to my open house instead. It's much more fun. Right this way, everybody! Figment, what is going on? You're turning this entire open house upside down! Upside down? Now you're talking! That's the best idea you had all day! With just the spark of inspiration, I made my house an innovation. Now, yes, we are back at home. After years of waiting for a refurb of Figman, we finally got a new addition, and that, that was the winter sweater that he was wearing. That's the only thing that was added. For the holiday overlay, honestly, I'll take it. I think he looks pretty cute in that little sweater. Now, let's talk about the big elephant in the room. Um, the lady who put a magic band inside of her body. In the beginning of the day, they released a new magic band. On the inside of the box, it said, not for internal or subdermal use. I have no idea what that was, so I Googled it, and ooh, that went down a weird rabbit hole. Because when you're thinking that, how are you gonna put a magic band internally? You're gonna go up here or, you know, the other way, and no, this one surprised me when I, uh, I read the headlines. This lady right here, known as Miss Fet Gaming, you see on her arm, there's like a little incision mark, that's where the magic band was um, put into, into her body. Yeah. Now it's the 21st century, you know, you do you, but uh, this this one really kind of shocked me. Now it looks like this person makes like custom masks, which honestly that 3D printed Stormtrooper one is pretty dope. Let's go a little further. Oh, what is that? Um, I think that's a mask of that clown that eats children and those balloons kind of look a lot like that chimney in Epcot, if you know what I mean. So inside the magic band, if you take it apart, there's this little like almost circuit board with a little chip. Um, I guess you can take that chip out and put Put it into a little plastic vial and then you can make an incision and put it into your body. Um, yeah, that's that's a thing. I don't know. I worked at Disney for a long time and trust me, guests are always going to surprise you. <laughs> the stuff I have seen and witnessed, whoo, if you've worked at Disney, you understand. Guests will always surprise you in good ways and in interesting ways like this. Now I know you're probably wondering, Kevin, is there a video of this in action? I want to see if this actually works. Well. Yes, there is. Watch. Here, do it one more time. Do it. Do it again. Good. It's fun. It's so satisfying. 
You're the first person to ever do it, so get your first season, dude. Gosh, there it is. <laughs> so what do you think about that? Uh, that's uh, innovative, it's convenient, it's different, it's new, it's futuristic, <laughs> it's so cool. pretty much as hands-free as you can get now, so I don't have to touch money, I don't have to touch cars, I don't have to touch car keys, nothing. I'm still sanitary, it's great. That's so fantastic. Except I, touch I have so many questions. I I think if you're worried about like losing your magic band that you're wearing, um, just get the little puck that goes on your like keychain because you have car keys, you need those, and just keep the puck on there. You're not gonna lose or forget your magic band. So this biohacking, if this becomes a thing, I think it's really gonna annoy cast members because they're gonna be like, oh, I don't have a magic band. Look, it's in my, my wrist. Cast members are already put up with enough. They don't wanna be dealing with like chips inside your hand. <sighs> Let me know down in the comments, what are your thoughts on this? I would love to talk to this lady and like find out why and who put the chip inside of her. I don't know, I'm probably gonna have a sleepless night thinking about this, but guys, I love you all. Uh, please stay safe. I will see you all on Wednesday. Please don't put a chip inside your body.